Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Hey there. Hey, yeah, we may be turning the pages in the weeks towards fall, but we're heading backwards, at least it, considering Mother Nature talking. We're talking nice weather tonight, but hot stuff building in here for tomorrow. In fact, that's right. It looks like a September heat wave, a late season heat wave for us here as we get ready to close out the summer. And even just looking beyond this week in which we should be in the 90s the rest of the week, next week looks probably as warm as well. So we may bring an end to a very hot end to the summer as we officially flip the calendar over in the fall. But 90s are returning tomorrow and heat in the seas. Well, they're likely to be up there somewhere close to between 95 and 100. And this is something you need to think about, particularly if you have a, a young child or a student that's participating in after school activities over the next several days. Remember these temperatures, much like we talk about in the middle of the summer. I know it's kind of out of season, so to speak for us here in September, but in the direct sun, you can almost expect those temperatures to be about a full 10 degrees warmer. So you want to stay well hydrated and take frequent breaks if you're doing any strenuous outdoor activities. That includes some of your soccer practices, practices and scrimmages, etc. Football, for example, after school, all of those things. All right, here we are outside tonight. High pressure moving away and we've got a dome of hot air that's building in our direction. Showers and storms pretty much moving up into the upper Midwest. Those are going to stay away from us. And in fact, tonight you can kind of see the bubble of warm air, basically where you see a lot of the yellows and the oranges. Temperatures close still out near 80 along the Mississippi River. So that's indicative of the warmer air that's going to be building in here the next few days. And it's not only the heat, but it will also be the humidity as well. It's not too bad tonight. Pretty comfortable out there. Tomorrow's not going to be terribly humid, but you'll notice it. But by the time we get to the second half of the week, oppressive humidity. I know, right? We don't talk about oppressive humidity too often, especially now that we are in mid September. But here comes the heat temperatures between 90 and 95 through the end of the week. And remember, I said over the weekend it cools down some but still going to be very warm for this time of the year. And again, we're back into the 90s next week too. Now, in regards to the rain chances, don't expect a lot of rain either this week. We have the chance for maybe a couple of stray downpours on Wednesday, but I think the best chance for rain, unfortunately, this week has the worst timing because it's going to come in here Friday and probably will impact high school football action around the area Friday night. So tonight, not bad. 74 degrees outside, a nice southeasterly breeze. The dew points comfortably low, so it's not too bad. Most areas north of the river in the upper to mid 60s now. Loveland 67, Hillsboro's at 63, 65 in West Union, Hamilton 67, Harrison at 66. You're in the 70s to the south of the river. Around the metro, generally near the 70 degree mark, give or take a degree on either side. So over the next few hours, temperatures will generally fall their way down through the 70s and into the 60s underneath mostly clear skies so that by morning, most communities will wake up to temperatures generally somewhere between about 60 and 65. So let's go low to mid 60s and then a fast warm up tomorrow. Just about everyone breaks the 90 degree mark, likely climbing into the low 90s. Here's a look at future cast. You'll see it's pretty quiet. Not really much to talk about. Lots of sunshine tomorrow, and then it looks like as we get into Wednesday, we'll get a little extra boost of humidity, and that may be enough with the intense heat to help fire up a few of those kind of stray downpours around the area. But I still think on Wednesday, most of us stay dry, and then it looks like as we get into Wednesday evening, those fade away pretty quick. Thursday's a hot one. A cool front arrives on Friday, and that brings us the best chance for widespread showers and storms. So clear and comfortable tonight, 64, the overnight low. And then for tomorrow, hot sunshine with, you got it, rising humidity, 92 for an afternoon high. Here's your day planner. It will probably feel like it's around 95 during the hottest part of the day. So just kind of keep that in mind. Here's your seven day forecast. So the heat rolls right on through the end of the week there. Our next weather impact day is on Friday. That's where you see the icon. And then if you can call it a cool down, we're in the 80s this weekend, so it's still going to be warm. And I know the Bengals come home on Sunday. That could be a hot game down there at Paul Brown Stadium. Look at that upper 80s with a little humidity too as we're back in the 90s next week. And the Niners are not used to humidity.